someone says, how do we take a dollar and turn it into $25? The, uh, the way that happens is, if a company is willing to donate a load of um, cereal, let's say, Kellogg's would be willing to donate a load of cereal, and it's in, uh, maybe it's in Ohio. So our semi has to go out and pick that up. So we incur some costs, fuel costs, usually not driver costs, because we have a lot of volunteer drivers, but we have some costs. But when you look at the semi load of food, if it's worth $50,000, and it costs us two or three thousand dollars to pick it up and bring it back. There's a substantial savings in that product by being able to get it donated to us, and all the costs that we have is, is transportation and building or warehousing. So it's a combination of that as well as 22,000 volunteers that help keep our payroll very limited. So for us, for every staff member we have nationwide, we have 700 volunteers. And so we just feel very blessed that God has given us a workforce that's not costing us a lot of dollars. Thus, we're more uh, efficient in getting the product to the people that are in need.